Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of oh, Mix Mowers. And um, it's still half term, got my little Riley boy here. You got a drink today? Did you see a boy? No, Riley boy, what drink you got? Uh, oh, a drink. Alright, have a drink. Nice. Need your coke? I haven't got coke now, my, my coke's indoors. So today's video is going to be something completely different. Um, doesn't actually involve an engine of any shape or description. Um, some of you may remember that um, myself and Mrs. P went up to uh, yeah, Mummy, yeah. Who? Mrs. P, Mummy, so a nickname I give her. Hi, Mummy P. Hi, Mummy P. Hi. Uh, Mummy P's out in the garden. Mummy P. Here comes Poppy P. No, um, no, no. It's Poppy. It's Poppy. Um, Poppy. So. Me and Mrs. P went up to Rotherham. No okay, me and Mummy went up to Rotherham the other day, which is about a four and a half to five hour drive each way. And we went up there purposely for this little munchkin just ow, here. Ow, ow. He currently has a um, special needs buggy, which is called a McLaren Elite. Um, but unfortunately, he has now buggy. just started to outgrow it. Yes, buddy. Again? Yeah, got a parcel just here. I'll show you in a, bit, in a minute, mate. So we need to upgrade, and due to the fact that we're going to Turkey very, very soon, we wanted something that he would be comfortable in, that's big enough and easy to push, and something just to keep him going for another two, two to three years. So we scoured the internet, and it looked like the best type of buggy was a three-wheeler, all-terrain style buggy, and we found one. I'm not plugging the name of the company in any way, shape or form, but it's called an, an independent specialist, specialist buggy and it will suit Riley because he's got a small stature within his syndrome it will suit him up to about the age of about 10 or 11 maybe even 12 because he is quite short for his age he's eight years old um, so it should do him it reclines it does everything it's got it comes with uh, rain covers it comes with extra cushions it's got a pump it's got everything on it so pump. it is fantastic now these retail pump, a pump. Boom. I'll show you these retail at 700 and I think it's £20 plus the VAT, so they're coming at around about 840 Nika, which is expensive. And it's something that um, our household budget cannot um, cannot do. We just cannot afford that sort of money on that. So anyway, we looked on, um, I think it was on eBay, or it could have been on Facebook, I'm not quite sure, but we found one up in Rotherham um, for £200. So we said... Any chance you can post it, this, that, and the other, it's a bit, it's a bit big to post, so you'll see it in a minute how big it is. Um, so, we looked on the Smith McGuinness Syndrome UK Foundation map, which is, tells you tells it, all, all its members where all, it, all the families are, and there was a family map. Um, tells us where all the families are in the UK, or across the world actually, and there was a family actually uh, four and a half minutes away from where this buggy was located. So, we rang the family up and said, we're coming up, do you fancy coming up, uh, meeting up for coffee? They said, yeah, come around our house, we'll have coffee and cake, and we'll have a, have a, a nip nat and a chat. So we spent two hours with them, had a good natter, which is nice to see them, and then we picked the buggy up and brought it back. So the buggy was sold to I us. Help. You can definitely help. The buggy was sold to us as in used but working condition, but only one issue with it, and that was the back brake doesn't work. Uh, the back brake is um, Two back wheels that has when you push you apply the brake down two pins come out and it stops the wheels but um, that didn't work it has a front brake on it as well which needs adjusting so for that price we thought well a back brake is not essential for us but um, knowing me and uh, little rider boy maybe we can fix it so did some research on it and it aspired that you can buy the actual wheel which are quick release wheels for about hundred pound a set can't buy them individually so it'd be another hundred pounds. So that takes the um, pram buggy into the three hundred pound region. Did a bit more research, and you can actually buy just the cogs alone for the back wheels uh, for nineteen pound the set. So that's what we picked up. So I thought today we'll do a little tiny um, independence buggy uh, repair job. It's all about repairing in my shop. It doesn't matter whether it's a lawnmower, hedge cutter, buggy, or a pair of scissors. Whatever needs fixing gets fixed. So, we've got a parcel delivered, Riley right, Boy. I know exactly what it is. Let me just get a pair of snippers or knife. Snipper. Get a knife. Let's use the Oppenal. You want? Knives are. Sharp! Knives are sharp. Mum's getting a washing in. No, 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 my, my pee. And that, is, that knife is really sharp. Mummy pee. Mummy pee? Yeah. <laughs> Mummy. 
All right, here we go. So this is a, a parcel. What we've got here, a bit of paper okay, writing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Read that. Okay. You tell me what to say. Look at. That's a paper clip. So this says, it's an invoice. Got these from Orchard Farm, which is up in Devon, which is the company that actually supply our dealer supplies these pieces, and we paid £19 for the set, which is cool. It also comes with a set of instructions on how to um, fix this. We won't be needing that. Um, and what we've got there? So in here we've got a set of cogs and it looks like a spring washer, some description, and a circuit. So don't open up yet, mate, because if you lose a circuit, then we'll be we now. But you can help me fix it. Who? You can help me fix it. We're going to do it out in the garden today because it's a lovely sunny okay. day and it's beautiful. Is it working? The hedge cutter is working, yeah. Is yeah. Uh, no, we'll do the pram. We'll do the buggy. What's that? I'll show you. So Is come on, guys. Without further ado. I do it. I do it. Are you going to do it or am I going to do it? I'll do it. All right, you do it after three. Wait. One. Two. Yeah. Ah, wait, wait, wait. One. Two. Two. Yeah. Three. Go. Okay. Right. Let's get dirty. Let's get dirty. Let's fix the buggy. You get dirty, buddy. Oh, uh, what's it? You get dirty. Yeah, <laughs> do it. <laughs> so come on, guys. Let's get down. Let's get dirty, and let's fix Riley Boy's little independence buggy. <laughs> So I've had to put the um, the mic on because it is, although it's a lovely day, it is just a touch windy out here. So here is the um, Advance Mobility Buggy. Comes folded up in, in a bag um, and it says inspiring individuals, which is something I truly believe in, especially with my boy Riley, is to inspire him. This will also travel completely free of charge to any destination in the world because it's classified as a medical piece of equipment. So that's super cool. It also comes with, what have you got here, Riley? I do We've got a little handbag here, a little bag, and it's got inside uh, the pump and a uh, rain cover. Okay. And uh, it comes with a punch repair kit as well. No, can't, no, don't take it out, mate. We don't need it because it's not raining, is it? So it comes with a, with a bag as well, which is cool. Right, let's have a look. I'll do it. You can definitely do it. Right, there you go. Go all that zip there, and away you go with that zip. I'll do this one. Yeah, I'll do this one. So that all comes wow. out. Wow! Yeah. So we've got the buggy, we've got a wheel. You don't know, mate, yet. We've got another wheel. You've got to unzip it first, buddy. Huh? Hey, Pops, you don't look to see what's going on. I'll do it. Yeah, there you go, take the wheel out him. Ask him gently. That's it. Hang on, hang on, stuck. That's it, right. Let's get rid of the bag, don't need that. So. Here's a buggy itself, nice and big and red, what we like. So let's just put it together first so we can show everyone what it actually looks uh -huh. like. Yeah, let's have, that's a back wheel. Daddy. That's a back wheel. It comes with a quick release front. Let's uh, just open this up a touch. Well, her puppy. Uh, puppy's all right, she won't hurt you, mate. Um, so that goes in there. Come out. That's on quick release. A bit more. About there. So that does that, and then you got your wheel. And that literally just clips. Right, I'm going to try to get these cables all torn up around here. That should be, if it goes like that, should be alright. That clips in there. Spin it round. And that wheel goes in there. And the good thing about this mobility buggy, although it's quite a big bit of kit, it's super easy to uh, open up. Just literally, I'm going to try and get that cable. I've got that cable tore up there. Let's take that cable out first. That must go that way around. Literally, you just pick the, pick the machine up, 
bomb, and off it goes. And that's up. And then it's got two retaining clips around the side, these little yellow ones. One there. And one here. And that's it. Daddy, yes, buddy? I yeah, in a minute, mate. And that's how the buggy um, goes up. And to put it down again, two seconds, buddy, to put it down again under the yellow tabs. Aww. Like so. And I really have thought about the engineering on this. Reach down here and we'll grab the handle, mate. Tight eyes, righty. Pull the handle and it collapses. Why do you and that's do it. That? So one solid movement and it's done. Daddy? Yes, yeah. buddy? Why do you do that? I just want to show everybody how it goes up and down. I will try. Yeah, we'll put yellow clips on first. Right, do you want to get in it, Riley, just to show everyone what it looks like with you in it? Yeah. And don't forget, Riley is eight years old. Are you eight old? Eight years old. Right, in you go, buddy. Do you... Yep, you're alright. That's it, and that, that's a problem, see, because the back brake isn't working. That's a problem with it. It won't actually... It's too bright. It's too bright. It won't lock off, so... It got, got, comes with a hood. Try and get in there, and I'll turn the window up. I can see you. Mm -hmm. The window at the back, and also the lay down riding. Lay down then, push down. Yeah, lay down. That's it, lay down there. Ah, nice. Yeah. Have a relax, and go sleep, like that. So as you can see, it fits in perfectly, and there's still room for, room for, in, for him to grow as well, because he's not sat right. Sit upright, Riley. Sit up in it properly, like this, look. Right at the back, that's it. As you can see, it fits in it. Just not quite reached the bottom yet. But another two years and he'll be into that. Comes with extra padding on here as well, which is all cool. So that's the independence buggy. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on and do the repair to this now. As I said, it's got a front brake on it, which does work, but it, it needs adjusting. It Daddy. Does, doesn't actually lock it. Um, Daddy? Yes, buddy? I want you to. Yeah, it doesn't actually stop it, but uh, that needs adjusting and the front brake actually has a lock on it as well, so you can actually lock the front brake. But if I lock it off, so that's the front brake now locked off. And as you can see, I can still move still move what? the buggy. So despite the fact the, the wheel, what? it's not, not actually stopping at all. So that is adjusting. Right, out your pop then, Riley. Right now. We're going to fix this buggy. Uh -huh. So let's put the camera down a bit and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, get this buggy fixed. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to repair the brake system on this on this buggy, and all we have to do, I'll just show you where the brake is. If I take that out, well, Bobby. that's fine. And then literally, if I apply the brake, if you watch here, if I apply the brake, this little tiny spike comes out just here. So I'll move it backwards and forwards so you can see it. There's a spike moving backwards and forwards. So that's all working as as it should do, which is cool. Let's put a buggy down there. Whoa. Now this is a bit that's actually broken, which is this this plastic cog. And as you can see, all of these teeth are all absolutely smashed, all worn out and all broken. So that's why it's broke. And these are the um, the new parts. They're made in China, so it says, and it comes with a new cog. So that's the bit that this actually should break onto. So the difference in two is, is massive. It comes with a little tiny circlip and it also comes with a little tiny spring washer. Now I've tore the instructions up purely because we shouldn't need them. It should be that simple. It says basic DIY is needed. So I have that. You will need a set of circlip um, pliers or if not you can get away with a screwdriver but with a, screw, a flat headed screwdriver it is more difficult and all we're going to do is just here there's a little tiny circlip and literally just want to put the two prongs inside it's a bit fiddly let me bring that buggy a bit closer I've got something to rest it up on so I want you to try and see this right I brought it inside the shed this is a bit easier and the lights actually duller in here so it will work better for me so with my circlip pliers literally just start to put one on one hole in there and work the other one on as well push down at the same time 
open up the circlip. They go very gently here because you don't want to lose this circlip if, if you can help. You have got a spare, but if you can get away with not actually losing it, then you're on to a winner. My circle is just slightly too big. I now want to get hold of the back of this circlip and just take it out of its out of its keeping socket. I get hold of it. There it goes. That will then pull up. And don't want to lose this. If we can help it. goes in the magnet tray and now this little tiny collar comes off there's a little bit of wear on there not a lot now I think it's saying you pull you push the bearing out of this like so that is discarded I'm gonna get a new piece so here's the new one grab the bearing that then fits just inside and push it down flush. No need to force it in, it will just go on its own. That then sits all the way back down onto a shaft and then sits over the spokes, like so. You get your circlip and your little washer. Get the washer out of the bag. Two seconds. Oh, that's handy, they didn't actually, oh, they have no, is there? Was hiding. And push it all the way home. That will then expose the little tiny clip which is right down the bottom of this shaft. Which is, you can just about see it. right underneath there, you can just about make it out. So push that all the way home, get your circlip, that goes over the top of that shaft. It's a bit fiddly, just keep, keep a good purchase on it at all times because you don't want to lose this. You get a pair of small pliers on it. goes and goes all the way down over top of that shaft get another pair of pliers in just to assist with it all I'll try and do is just open this up a smidge just so it will go over the top of that shaft like so push that down and with a screwdriver literally all we're looking to do is just push this down into its home Make sure it's all the way in. And you better tell because you won't be able to push that shaft back out, and that's now in place. So that, that's all you have to do. So let me get the other the other one in, and I'll do the same on that one. Right, so I've got the second wheel in now. Again, a bit of spray, toothbrush. It's not toothpaste, toothbrush. Just to clean it up, just so you can see what's going on. Now this one's actually got quite a bit of wear on it because this is different to the other one. This actually sits up quite high. There's quite a big gap there. On the other one, there's not, so it must be must be, must be quite worn. Get hold of that one, and that's it. That's up. I think. Don't fall back down in there. 
I'm gonna stay up. I think that's got him. Turn it around. Let's try and sneak back in, let's see. Go. Have it up. And get hold of your two ends of a circlip. Not seeing that, are you? Raise up a bit. A circlip, put it apart ever so slightly, just can get it over the top of this. It will fit, just gotta maneuver it like so. Once it's up, keep hold of it, put it in the old tray. The second one comes off, push the bearing out. That one's discarded. Bring him a new one, which is under here. Put a new bearing in, probably a second hand bearing. Come up with the old one. That clips in. Sitting down on the spokes. That would only go one way. Clip him in, push it into place. And hopefully we should be able to see the circuit markings. There it is. The other ones were well worn. I put a new circuit on. And again, you mainly just literally get hold of it with a pair of small pliers each end, like so. Keep hold of it because it will it will shoot off. There it goes. Small screwdriver, start to push him down, and it will, you'll hear it go click. There's one, there's two, that's in, and it's rotating on its own, and that clip doesn't, that, that cog doesn't now come up. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's how you repair the back brakes on the independents. Let's put them back on the buggy, and we'll go for um, a trial, see how it works. Okay, so just to refit the wheels back on, that pushes into place. So now by right, that now wheels on its own as it should do, and when you apply the brake, now the buggy now won't move, so that's now fixed. So well happy with that. Next thing I want to do, I want to move on to the, um, the front brake assembly. As I showed you, the front brake wasn't actually working, or it is working, not holding the buggy back. So I'm going to apply the back brake, so now the buggy won't move. I'm going to have a little look at the front brake to see what's needed to um, repair that. So what I'm going to do for this is tip the buggy on its side, and it is actually same as a normal bike brake. So I'm grab some spanners, I'll be back. So all you need is just to adjust this, I and mean, these look pretty, pretty well adjusted anyway. I'm just gonna loosen this, this nut off here with an eight mil um, spanner. And all I wanna do is just take up the slack ever so slightly. Daddy? Yes, buddy. Uh, I will hit you. Say again. I will hit you. I'm recording a video. So what I need to do is unlock the... I want to record it. Yeah, you watch me do a record it, mate. Yeah, of course you can. Just going to unlock the front brake because it's locked. Daddy? Yeah. Did you do it up? Hey? Okay, you do it up or down? What's that? So with, with the front brake now unlocked, I can now squeeze tight the, um, the brake system, pull the cable really tight, and then just nick that 8mm nut back up. To there. That's now not rubbing, but it is very, very close. So let me now tip the buggy back up 
and a try to apply the front brake. Daddy. Hang on, buddy, two seconds. Yeah. Okay, so now the brake is actually off and the wheel spins completely freely. Be a bit pleased, little man, thank you. And now to squeeze the front brake, it now oh. skids. And we're a little Riley boy now inside it. We can now test the front brake, which now works lovely. I can slow him down to the front, and I can also lock it off. And that's now just on the front brake alone. And as you can see, the front brake is actually holding it's skidding. So that's now locking and doing as it should. Release the front brake, and it free wheels. And then to apply the back brake, step on the back, and now that won't move. I can lock the front brake off as well. Now that buggy is not going nowhere. And that's it. Happy Riley. Does that work okay? And there you go. And that's how you fix an independent buggy for your littler. Um, and he's now safe and secure inside that buggy and can't go nowhere. Happy? What's up? High five. Good. That's your umbrella, oh, your, your hood. Can so keep you? Yeah, you can see me out through here, can't you? See? So, all done. Is that a good fix? So, very, very simple. Right, let's go back in the shed. That's it. So, happy, right, yeah? So, we're off to Turkey very, very soon, and that buggy now is fully functional. I might just give the axles a bit of a grease up, just take the wheels off and just grease the axles up. Yes, buddy? Room. Where we're sleeping in the hotel? Yeah. In a big family room. And we're a little Riley boy now inside it. We can now test the front brake, which now works lovely. I can slow him down to the front, and I can also lock it off. And that's now just on the front brake alone. And as you can see, the front brake is actually holding, it's skidding. So that's now locking and doing as it should. Release the front brake and it free wheels, and then to apply the back brake, step on the back, and now that won't move. I can lock the front brake off as well. Now that buggy is not going nowhere. And that's it. Happy Riley. Does that work okay? And there you go. And that's how you fix an independent buggy for your littler. Um, and he's now safe and secure inside that buggy and can't go nowhere. Happy? What's up? High five. What's up? That's your umbrella, oh, your, your hood.